get ready to start right now. So that, uh, you know, we just, uh, I'm happy to see everybody out this morning. Uh, we just, we hope that everybody that's here came to praise the Lord today. You know, he's a great God, he's a good God. And he's worthy to be praised. So I just ask that each and every one of you right now would join in with us uh, and help us to uh, open up this morning. Thank you. This morning I'll be reading from Psalm 66. And it says, make a joyful noise unto God, all ye lands. Sing forth the honor of his name. Make his praise glorious. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy works. Through the greatness of thy power shall thine enemies submit themselves unto thee. All the earth shall worship thee and shall sing unto thee. They shall sing to thy name. Come and see the works of God. He is terrible in his doing towards the children of men. Amen. He turned the sea into dry land. They went through the flood on foot. There did we rejoice in him. He ruleth by his power forever. His eyes behold the nations. Let not the rebellious exalt themselves. O oh, bless our God, ye people, and make a voice of his praise to be heard, Amen. which holdeth our soul in life, and suffered not our feet to be moved. Yes. May the Lord have a blessing to the reader here and do us of his most holy and precious word. Amen. Yes. 
Yes, they can lift up the name of Jesus. Lord, we know there's no other name that is so worthy of praise. We thank you for your son. We thank you for his willingness to die for our sins. Yes. So that we might be made right again, Lord. Yes. Heavenly Father, this morning we want to come and just center our hearts and minds on you as we prepare to hear your preach word this morning. Lord, we pray if whoever brings it, Lord, will just step out of the for a little while and allow your Holy Spirit to use them, Lord. Yes. Lord, we ask that you bless us through the power of the Holy Spirit this morning. Lord, that our ears and hearts might be open to what thus saith the Lord. Then, Heavenly Father, we want to remember those who are not as fortunate this morning, who was sick, who was shut in, who couldn't get out, Lord, and were struggling with something, some illness, Lord, or something that just weighed heavy on their mind. That's what you will have mercy this morning, Lord Jesus, and just relieve them of what they're suffering through, Lord. Lord, we pray that you will bless this service, that you will bless everything that happens here today, that it might be done in decent and order, and when we leave this place, you will be pleased with our praise. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. We thank you so much for joining and helping us in our devotion and now you're in the hands of the praise team. God bless you.
that God is a good God. Yes, he is. And he can do what no other power can do. Some of the old folks used to say he brought me from a mighty long way. Anybody can say that today? And then the psalmist said, if it had not been for the Lord,
Sister Ruben had put together a list of songs, and um, we wanted to honor the Lord and just do a little bit. I didn't get a chance to sing the medley, and it was a song. It was a medley that uh, put together our songs that our Reverend Ruben would sing, <clears throat> and so I thought this would be a good opportunity to share a few of those songs with you. Is that okay? Is that all right? Can we do a little bit? Amen. Amen. Testimony. If anyone 
somebody might know it's going to be all right. Yes. That somebody might be healed through the preaching of the gospel. It's in the name of Jesus Christ, thy precious Son yes. of God, that we pray right now. Right now. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Give an honor to the only one who is deserving of our honor and our praise, the Lord Jesus Christ, to our faithful ministers that are here, Reverend Jesse L. Davis Jr., the brother is faithful, always have been, always will be, to Elder Phillips, and to our other ministers that are not here, to our deacon staff, Urshas, praise team, choir members, and just all of you today. I really mean this from my heart when I say it's good to be here. <clears throat> Everything that we have done thus far in the service was unto the Lord. <clears throat> and the Lord has accepted it because you can feel the presence of the Lord yeah. in this place. Now God will speak to us. The way that he speaks to us is through his preacher and through his word. And I want you to know there's power in the word of God. Heaven and earth will pass away. <clears throat> but for one gentle or tittle or one word of the Lord. Those of you that have your Bibles, turn to the book of Isaiah, <clears throat> the 55th chapter, beginning with verse number 6. We will read through verse number nine, but our text shall come from verse number six. <coughs> my, my, my. Isaiah, 55th chapter, verses six through number nine, and our text shall come from verse number six. Six. <clears throat> if you have it, would you say amen? Amen. <clears throat> Let's read it together. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the righteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. <clears throat> for as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. My, my, my. We're going to take the text from verse number six that says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. <clears throat> Call upon him while he is near. I want to talk about from the text of thought, do it now. Do it <clears throat> now. We are, as a people, the biggest procrastinators in the world. <clears throat> Every time, or most of the time, when 